Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So today Without we are going to make oven, cake. microwave or a kadai. We are going to make cake in a frying pan. So before we get started, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So firstly, we need to take 2 tablespoon of melted butter and then add 1/4 cup of cocoa powder and mix the mixture very well. Then you need to add 4 tablespoon of curd to this mixture. If you want to make an eggless recipe then curd is fine but if you want egg in your recipe you can add one egg as the replacement of curd Mix the batter very well and then you need to add sugar and maida Here you need to add 2/3 cup of sugar powder and 1/3 cup of maida and you need to mix it very well Also you need to add 1/4 cup of hot water If the batter is quite thick you can add more water or you can replace water with milk as well my batter came out to be quite thick so i added around 1 or 2 tablespoon of extra water into it and then you need to add baking powder and baking soda and a pinch of coffee this is optional if you like you can add more as well keep the batter aside for a minute and then we are going to make chocolate ganache that too with milk I've taken here half cup of dark melted chocolate along with 3 tablespoon of milk and I'm going to mix it well now you can see the texture it's quite glossy we are going to add 1 to 2 tablespoon of ganache into the chocolate cake batter and rest we'll keep it for spreading upon the cake you can add more as well it's a, according to your choice i've added 1 tablespoon here you can add 2 to 3 tablespoon as well Then you need to take a pan and it should be quite thick from the base. Then you need to add baking paper according to the size and add your batter. You can grease it as well, but it's optional because we are adding the baking paper. Then you need to place the pan on low flame. Please take this into consideration that your flame should not be high or else the cake will burn. The flame should be low and it would take 30 to 35 minutes till the cake bakes properly. You can use a skewer and check if it's totally baked or not. Let the cake rest for 5 to 10 minutes and then you can add the ganache you made and some sprinkles if you want. Now you can slice your cake and have it with ice cream or without ice cream as well. The cake turned out to be quite soft and quite fudgy. You should try this recipe once if you don't have a microwave or an oven. This is the best recipe you can try at home. I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do comment what you want to see in the next video. Till then, bye.